Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salina, Kansas, where you can find the most in-depth video walkarounds on our different Ford vehicles specific to the trip. We call them our complete guides because we cover all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment that's available on those different uh, vehicles with that particular trim. So very thorough videos if you like those as well as some of our newer how-to videos. Check out our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time I have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna we've been uh, talking about the 2021 Ford Bronco, the two-door and four-door versions. We've been working our way through what Ford's calling the models. I like to call them the trims. And this video is gonna be dedicated to the outer banks. So we're gonna cover all the standard equipment, optional equipment for the exterior, interior, the powertrain as well in the handling as well as safety and then cover some optional packages that you might think about and two of them have we haven't talked about in the other uh, models or trims yet so far so this will be really nice uh, very thorough this is going to be very long I, I will look if you look down the description you're going to see timestamps for this uh, as we go around the different vehicles so if you want to skip ahead or skip through the, some of this uh, you can do that and just uh, move around pretty easily that way if you're on the desktop I know you can click on the links otherwise you'll probably need on a mobile phone need to scroll to that timestamp down there but right now reservations are, are available on the two-door and four-door Bronco $100 refundable reservation uh, you can do that with a dedicated dealership in mind uh, just uh, keep in mind we're gonna have some information about free shipping at the end of this video so if you want to use our dedicated URL you can go to our YouTube or to our website LawMacArthur.com click on the new and then scroll down to new Ford offers uh, that page there will have links to the four door uh, two door four door reservation link or to the Bronco Sport link there so you can reserve those at this present time you're just reserving your model and your trim or whatever you might want to call it and then uh, you'll be getting the uh, later when we when it's ready for the order banks to open up that's when you'll choose your optional equipment and different packages at that time as well as your color so uh, gonna be a, a fun adventure here going through this we will be doing videos on the Bronco Sport as well as we get through the Broncos uh, we'll be doing some individual ones on those and the Bronco Sport you can actually order right now the order banks are up we have the order guides for prices on those different packages and different things like that so we're going to know that ahead of time but let's cover the the outer banks version here again like i said this might be a little long check the timestamps down below now the two-door price is going to start out at 38,955, and the four-door is going to start out at 41,450 for that uh, kind of the starting price for each of those so now this in here is really dedicated to basically they're calling it the off-roading and style so this is where you're going to have the mounted on the 18 inch high gloss and black painted alloy wheels. Uh, this series also is going to get body colored fender flares, door handles, mirror caps. Uh, so given that look, powder coated uh, tube steps, we'll get into more of that in just a little bit. On the inside, you're going to have comfort and convenience, uh, a little bit more that's going to be standard equipment on that. Uh, to, to really enjoy that uh, with an optional 12 inch LCD touchscreen, which we haven't seen yet. I've been using that screenshot in a lot of the, the videos prior to. They'll actually get an 18, an eight inch screen, but here you're gonna have an option for the bigger 12 inch screen that we've been seeing that's gonna come in the 2021 F-150 as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in and talk about exterior first. Now exterior, you're gonna, uh, on the exterior, this is where we're gonna kind of beef up some of the look and give it more of that, more of a body colored or a luxury look on the outside. So it still will have your manual swing open gate with the flip up glass uh, back there. Uh, also, you're gonna have that full size spare tire uh, and wheel combination that would be on the vehicle, uh, whether it be any option or will you choose, that's what you're gonna have on the back as well. The four door will come standard with the soft top and the two door will come standard with the hard top. Same hard top that we did see with the uh, big bend and the black diamond. So it is gonna be that molded in gray uh, as the standard hard top for the two door version. Now you have that removable top for the, both the four door and two door as well as the removable doors. The doors can be stored in the back. I did have someone ask me, uh, two-door version, does it, uh, are they gonna be stored in the back as well? Yes, uh, there'll be room for the two-door or four-door version 
to be stored in the back. So that's a class exclusive. Kind of cool being able to do that. Take those doors off, still put them back there. So if you need to put them back on, if it's raining, you can do that. You know, the kind of the benefit of that two door or the soft top is that you should be able to have enough room to take the soft top off and store it in the back as well so that you can put everything back together if you need to, if you're stopping someplace and want to secure your Bronco. So. The door handles will be body colored. So this is the one, uh, now we're on the, the fourth different trim or model. Uh, now you're going to have body colored door handles as well as the fender flares are going to be body colored on these two. So whatever you know, image you're seeing is that blue. So uh, you're going to have those nice fender flares and body colored door handles there. Uh, you will get daytime running lights as well as LED headlights, uh, LED signature lighting, and LED fog lights. Uh, so the original image on Ford's uh, website for the reservation doesn't show the fog lights in there. I think they just kind of were, were working through some of that. Uh, also doesn't show body color door and uh, mirror caps either. Um, but they will have fog lights that are LED as well as LED signature lighting. Those are those little lights that come into uh, headlights there. Also active grill shutters are going to continue to be standard equipment here on this. So they'll open up as you're going faster. It'll close them more aerodynamic when it's going slower. Uh, opens those up well for more airflow inside uh, to the uh, to the engine there. The grill will be painted black. So now instead of kind of a molded in like you did see in the base as well as the black diamond, this one's going to be black painted grill uh, with the white Bronco badging. So a little bit different look of the grill than you did see on the other trims. Of course, all of them will have their own dedicated grill uh, just like you'd expect. For the mirrors, they will be power heated mirrors. As I mentioned, body colored on the outside a manual fold mirror. You'll also notice these mirrors are mounted to the uh, pillar there where the windshield is. So that way if you take the doors off, you're still going to have some mirrors on your Bronco. So uh, that'll be a nice convenient feature. You will have bash plate like we've been seeing on all the other Broncos. So a nice uh, front bash plate to protect it under there if you're doing any off-roading. Now you're going to see powder coated tube steps. So tubular step bars uh, to help you get in and out of this uh, the Bronco here. Uh, that uh, it's going to be one of the two uh, times, uh, first time we've really seen that as standard equipment on the Bronco. The tow hooks, you'll have two in the front, one in the rear, just like we've been seeing even on the base model. And then you're going to have privacy glass on those rear windows uh, and then for the second row and also for the back glass. So, so real nice and how that's going to be kind of a dark tinted glass there. So that's all your standard equipment for your exterior. Let's talk about some options for you there. You have a few more options for your hard top. So for the four-door version, you can get the hard top, which would be the molded in gray like we did see with the two-door, the standard equipment. Also, you have a couple different other options. You have a modular uh, hard top that's body colored. So we did see that with the black diamond, I believe. Uh, so you're going to have that as an option for the two-door or four-door version. So you can get a body colored uh, painted hard top, or you can also get a shadow black painted hard tops. So you can get a couple different options there for different painted hard tops. Again, those are going to be available for the two door or four door. Now you can also for the four door get a dual top, which means you're going to have your soft top already that comes with standard equipment, but then you also get a hard top. Of course, three different options there. You can hit either get the carbonized gray molded in, you can get the shadow black painted, or you can get the body color painted as that uh, extra hard top uh, cover for you. So a couple options there. Also heavy duty modular front bumper, we've been seeing that as standard or available as option equipment on all the uh, trims so far, as well as the brush guard that's going to come along with that for that front bumper. So a uh, nice brush guard on the front of it. So those are your standard and optional equipment for the exterior of the vehicle. Now let's talk about the interior. A lot of features on the interior, so let's uh, get on into those. Now we'll drill through some of these interior features a little quickly here because some of these uh, we're, we've been seeing on all the different uh, versions and, and, or trims I should say, but there are a couple that I'm going to spend a little time on and maybe stop a little bit for some of them that are going to be dedicated as now standard equipment for the, um, for the outer banks or that we haven't seen before yet and that's going to be available here. Now a lot of these standard equipment that we're seeing on here is Pretty much if you've been watching the Big Bend or the Black Diamond and you did see that mid package, a lot of the features include that mid package are now going to be standard equipment on the outer banks. So of course you'll have the intelligent access with the push button start. So uh, intelligent access will be for those front doors only. Uh, so whether it be a two door or a four door version, you'll be able to unlock those front doors uh, just without having to get the key out of your pocket and, and start the vehicle. And that was part of the mid package 
for the big band and the black diamond standard equipment here. Remote start system, going to be standard equipment now. Uh, a little bit different instrument panel, so it's calling it a high level instrument panel. Have not seen any images of this, uh, so it looks like they're going to upgrade that instrument panel just a little bit more with some probably some more digital aspects to it. Carpeted flooring for the front and rear is going to be standard equipment as well as floor mats for the first row. For the four door and two door, your four door version will also get carpeted mats in the back. So this is the only time, first time we've actually seen floor mats in the second row for the four door. Uh, that's going to be included as standard equipment. Um, also, you're going to get the train management system as standard equipment. Uh, we've been seeing that with six goat modes that go over any type terrain. Uh, so course standard equipment for this uh, the outer banks as well. Center console uh, with a convenient bin. Let's talk a little, little bit about that center console. You've seen some images there. Uh, that's where you can see the switches for your power windows. So power windows, the front controls, actually the controls for back, front and back will be on the front of that console as well as there'll be some USB ports up there. Uh, so you'll have a USB type C and a USB type A on the front of that. Uh, you'll also have a PowerPoint in the, in the, inside the glove box or inside the center console, I believe. Uh, so you're going to have uh, some controls right there with that center console. Overhead console as well with some map lights. Uh, we've been seeing that as standard equipment on all of them so far. Ambient lighting in the footwell that was actually part of the mid uh, package on the uh, black diamond. That's going to be standard equipment. Also, auto dimming rear view mirror, another feature from the mid package that's going to be included uh, on all of your uh, outer banks. I mentioned a PowerPoint in the front or in that console, but there will also be one in the rear cargo area. And then uh, USB ports on that console in the front, but also there's going to be a couple behind the console along with the switches for the, the rear windows uh, for the four door uh, version back there. So you're going to be able to, to, to go ahead and lower those down from the rear of that console back there. Also be a 110 outlet on the back back there. So uh, you'll have now a 110 outlet. Of course, that was part of the mid package for the Black Diamond, now standard equipment on this. The steering wheel is going to be a leather wrapped steering wheel here with the uh, Bronco badging, redundant uh, cruise control, as well as redundant audio controls uh, right there, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel uh, for that. So it'll go up and down, forward and back as well. Um, <clears throat> I already talked about the power windows. Dual zone auto climate control, again, part of the mid package. Dual zone climate, so the driver and front passenger can set two different temperatures there for your climate control. For your audio controls, AM, FM, six speaker audio sound system. We'll have the Sync 4 with an 8 inch touchscreen, Sirius XM satellite radio with that 360L. Also come with App Link, 911 Assist, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all standard equipment as part of the system. Uh, you will have Ford Pass Connect as well, allow you to stay connected to the vehicle using that app, being able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere, unlock and lock it, uh, locate your vehicle uh, using that, as well as schedule remote start times, all those uh, great features there. The seating configuration will be standard with your cloth seats. Uh, so cloth seating surfaces for the front bucket seats. Uh, as well as the back. Your seats will be a six-way manual adjustment, so we've been seeing that as a configuration even from the base trim. We'll get into some power seats and we'll get to optional equipment. Heated seats will be included, of course, as part of the mid package, so heated seats will be standard equipment, as well as the rear seat back there. Uh, the two-door will have a 50-50 split bench seat that can fold flat, as well as the four-door will have a 60-40 split bench seat that seats three back there that can fold flat as well. So the seats don't come out that we uh, believe, uh, but they will fold flat so you don't have to take them out. Uh, a great convenience there. Now let's talk about optional equipment. I'm uh, not sure why they have this in here, but there must be a big deal about it. But there, uh, normally there's only six, there's six beverage holders uh, throughout the, the Bronco. I haven't mentioned that as standard equipment. I thought that was just a small thing. Um, but they actually have as an optional equipment getting uh, eight total beverage holders uh, so you get an extra two there um, so if you want to order that as optional equipment you can do that uh, also you get an extra set if you want to as optional equipment is a dual smart charging usb ports a type c and a type a that'll be on the dashboard itself that you can order as optional equipment as well as you can order a wireless charging pad uh, so you need those wireless phones uh, that you can put on there. You can just put them on the wireless charging pad and they'll charge while you're driving your vehicle with the f when the vehicle's on. Also, you can get this optional equipment. Not only is it going to come standard with leather uh, steering wheel, but now you can get heated as an option for the steering wheel. So that will be included with your heated seats and come in real handy. 
Um, seen this before on the other trims, but the, uh, the hard top sound deafening uh, headliner, of course, does require to have the hard top or the uh, dual tops. Um, so uh, ha have to have a hard top, of course, and makes it a little bit quieter in there. B&O audio sound system is optional equipment now with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. So it takes it from that 6 to the 10 with a nice B&O audio sound system, the Bang & Olufsen. Uh, also, you can now upgrade that Sync 4 screen to the 12 inch LCD screen. I kind of mentioned that kind of earlier as a teaser there, but now you can get that 12 inch LCD screen that we've been seeing in clips uh, as being advertised. Outer Banks is the first time we're able to see that and it'll be optional equipment, standalone option. Uh, also probably be included in a package. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Also the voice activated touchscreen navigation. So you can upgrade with that navigation. I believe when you get this navigation, you also get the trail uh, controls there uh, for that. So you get that trail. Uh, monitors your trail and then I think you can upload that um, so it's a pretty cool little system. Leather seats are going to be available as optional equipment here on the Outer Banks. So first time we've been seeing leather seats as an option. Uh, so optional equipment, leather seats as well as now you can get power seats. So it'll be a 10-way power adjustment seat for the uh, driver and an 8-way for the passenger on the 4-door version only. You cannot get uh, power seats for the 2-door. Uh, version. Not sure why that's not available, but um, it is it's telling us it's only available in the Forder models there. So there's all your standard as well as optional equipment on the interior. Let's move on over to the power handling and your wheels and tires. Now it's time to talk about the power handling suspension and the wheels and tires. Very important when it comes to off-roading. Of course, standard equipment for your, uh, your Bronco for the outer banks is going to be your electronic parking brake. Of course, electronic power assist steering, that e-pass system, as well as you're going to have electric uh, traction control, and you're going to also have the, the four-wheel disc brakes with the analog braking system and electronic stability control. All those are going to be standard equipment, just like we'd expect. Also, with this, you're going to have the standard duty. What they're calling the standard duty is actually the Haas system, the high-performance off-road suspension system, very good suspension system that's going to come on all of your Broncos with the 4x4 with the part-time uh, manual in or selectable engagement 4x4 system there. Also for your engine, 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, that engine delivers 310 pound-feet of torque, so plenty of power behind that engine. Uh, it's the same engine that we're seeing in the Ranger as well as some other vehicles. A very capable engine, especially for your two-door version. Now for your transmission, Standard transmission on the two-door and the four-door is a 10-speed automatic transmission. We're not seeing anywhere listed that you can get a seven-speed manual transmission for the outer banks. So that might be kind of somebody, people looking for that manual transmission. This may be out of your, just out of your, you know, not wanting this one at all because you don't have that option here uh, whatsoever. For the wheels, 18-inch bright machine, black painted, high-gloss alloy wheel, comes with a 32 inch all-terrain tires. They're 255-70R18. So first time seeing an 18 inch wheel, and that's gonna be the standard wheel here on the, uh, the Outer Banks uh, version here. Now let's talk about some optional equipment for the uh, power and suspension in your tires. Uh, of course, 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine is available as optional equipment. Uh, so that engine gives, does deliver the 400 pound-feet of torque that a lot of people want. So it is available as an optional equipment, an optional engine for you. Also, you do have engine block heaters available as optional equipment, as well as the high clearance suspension. High clearance suspension gives you a little bit more lift there, so that way you can do a little bit more with that the uh, Bronco. Uh, and also, you get the you can get as optional equipment the advanced 4x4 with the automatic on-demand engagement uh, available as optional equipment. You want to make sure you order that. Also, talking more about trail, you have trail control that's available uh, for off-road. Of course, uh, that system there is something we've been seeing. We've seen on the Raptor, the Ranger with the off-road package, and the Tremor package. Now it's going to be uh, available as optional equipment for your Bronco as well. The new uh, trail uh, trail turn assist. Uh, so that system is uh, going to be optional equipment for you. A uh, new system we've seen for the uh, Bronco as well as the trail one pedal driving. That uh, that one does require the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine to get that feature there, but it is optional equipment for you. Electronic locking front and rear axle, available as optional equipment, also included in a package we'll talk about in just a little bit, as well as the 17-inch 
black high gloss painted forged wheels. They're a beadlock capable wheel. Uh, I believe that's the same wheel they're talking about as part of the Sasquatch patch, package. It's available as optional equipment. If you don't want all that other package, you can order this optional. And then the 35 inch mud terrain tires that'll go along with that wheel. Uh, there are 315 70 R17. So that's a nice uh, wheel and tire combination if you want to do some uh, serious off-roading there. And then a couple different uh, optional equipment we have not seen yet in any of the other trims and that is uh, that's going to have the, the adaptive cruise control is available as optional equipment. So you can kind of set that to where if you come up behind somebody it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you pass them and then it's going to resume. Uh, so some people like that system. Also forward sensing system is also available as a standalone option under the power uh, uh, section here. So some great options there for you, And uh, but there are some of these options that are also included in a package uh, that we'll talk about when we get to the different packages. Now let's talk about safety here, and there are a few features here that are available as optional as well as with standard uh, that weren't available on some of the other trims, so you may want to uh, just stay tight and watch this uh, when we talk about different safety features. Now, the Ford Copilot 360 technology is listed several times throughout the uh, we've been talking about. It. I have not actually included that because some of the features uh, are not always included as standard equipment, but as optional equipment. So let's talk about the Ford Copilot 360 technologies, what usually are included in that, and some of the other vehicles. Of course, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be part of this uh, this little technology features and package, as well as your lane keeping system that keeps you in the middle of your uh, keeps you in your lane, uh, either alerts you or kind of ties to aid you in keeping you in your lane. Also, bliss with cross traffic alert, so that blind spot information system that alerts you if there's someone in your blind spot, as well as if you're backing up, someone crosses your path behind you and lets you know there's someone there. Also, auto high beams that will automatically turn those high beams on and turn them off in those situations where they need to be turned on and off, as well as your rear view camera. That's all included in the Copilot 360 uh, package. Uh, the reason I haven't mentioned some of the other videos is because a couple of those are only available as optional equipment as part of that Copilot 360, but now it's going to be all included as standard equipment for your Outer Banks uh, trim here, as well as a post-impact braking. Post-impact braking also, if you do not hit your brakes when you're alerted and you hit somebody very quickly, it's going to initiate the brakes to hopefully lessen the severity of that. Let's talk about the airbags. This is all pretty much the, the airbag system, same as you did see in the base and the Big Bend and the Black Diamond. So you will have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag that deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Side impact airbags as well, that's gonna have an airbag beside the vehicle. Any, of course, side impact, it'll deploy that airbag, as well as the safety canopy airbags with a rollover sensor. That's all, of course, uh, we've been seeing that in all the other versions. The latch system, the lower anchors and tethers for children as well. Uh, so you can you know, anchor down those, uh, those booster seats and car seats in the back of those seats uh, for the second row back there. As well as, of course, you do get the tire pressure monitoring system, uh, trailer sway control as well. Uh, that's going to be included. Um, also, uh, I don't believe I mentioned this earlier, but you do get advanced track with roll stability control. So hopefully that helps you keep you on your intended path and help you from not rolling over. That's going to be included to a standard equipment. A couple things we've been uh, before have been optional equipment that's going to be standard on the Outer Banks, and that's the reverse sensing system. Uh, that's going to be standard equipment here. Uh, so now you're going to have the, the backup camera as well as a reverse sensing system. So as you're backing up, not only going to be able to see behind you, you also get alerted if you get too close to anything. Perimeter alarm as well uh, that we've seen as standard equipment uh, prior to this. A couple different options. Two options. One of them is a keyless entry keypad. So you can put it on the outside. So if you want to leave it, be able to leave the keys inside, you can lock it up using a keypad and also get in and out being able to use that keypad to do that. The 360 degree camera now available with this. So not only do you have the backup camera, but you have a camera under each mirror and one on the front. So you can see completely around the vehicle that is going to be available as a standalone option under the safety features. Now let's talk about a couple different packages that are available. Uh, we haven't, been, I haven't seen these yet in the first three trims. Uh, now we're starting to see a high package as well as a luxury package or a Lux package, what they're calling it, that's now going to be available for your Outer Banks. You can you can tell this is off-roading with some luxury features. Uh, so uh, part of the high package, 
uh, a couple of different features, actually about five features. A couple of them have been standalone options uh, that are going to be included in this package as well as one that you can't, uh, can't get any other way other than with this package or the Lux package. Now you get the 12-inch center stack touchscreen here. So that's where you're going to get that 12-inch screen that was a standalone option. It's going to be included in this package. 360-degree camera that we just talked about, also included in the, the high package and front sensing systems, also something that we did see. So those are three features that were standalone options included in the high package. Also additional sound deafening materials. So we did talk about as option equipment, you can get the roof, but they're saying there's additional sound deafening materials outside of that that are going to be included to make it quieter in the Bronco. And then for the mirrors, you can, uh, as part of this package, you're going to get LED security approach lamps as well as spotlights on those mirrors. So that's the first time we've been seeing any kind of security approach lamps uh, now as part of the high package. So a uh, great package to have if you want to get all these things included into one with a reduced cost there. Also, the Lux package is going to include everything we've already talked about as part of the high package. Plus, it's going to include quite a few extra other uh, features. One of them is that adaptive cruise control that we talked about was a standalone option. It's going to be available, or it's going to be part of this package. The B&O audio sound system with the 10 speakers, including the subwoofer, also included here. The heated steering wheel, also something we talked about earlier, as well as the, uh, the USB ports, the additional two USB ports there in the dash. Also part of this navigation system, also included here as well as a wireless charging pad. So all features that were standalone options under the interior are now going to be included in this package as well as a couple other that we have not seen. And one of them is a universal garage door opener is now going to be included as, and part of this package as well as the evasive steering assist. Again, a feature we have not seen yet wasn't even included as optional equipment. Evasive steering assist means that if you're not able to avoid hitting the vehicle in front of you and you want to, to turn away, it's going to help assist you in turning uh, more drastically. It eases that. That is a feature. Some people don't, I've heard some people say they don't like that feature or like that, that Ford has the capabilities of doing that. You can't deactivate that feature if you like all these other features combined together in this package. I uh, think I've covered everything else. So that's a pretty nice package. So it really taking the off-roading to a next level here in a way of comfort features and convenience features. Uh, you can get one of those too. Of course, the last package is the Satchquatch package uh, that we've seen is available on all the other trims so far. So Satchquatch is um, going to include some of the, uh, the standalone options that we've talked about earlier in the power and suspension package. And it's going to be now included in this package as well as a couple things that are not available. So what it's going to do is it's going to take your, it's going to give you that 17 inch black uh, painted, those alloy beadlock wheels, as well as a 35 inch mud terrain tire. So it's going to upgrade. You're going to get those, that wheel and tire combination as part of this package. Electronic uh, locking front and rear axle. So the e-lockers there, as well as the high clearance suspension is going to be also included in this package. You also get the high clearance front fender. So from what I'm telling from the images, it's going to give you the molded in black fender flares. So it takes away your body colored fender flares, gives you in the molded in black. You'll still get your body color door handers, door handles <laughs> and mirror caps, uh, but you will have the fender flares will be, it looks like from the images I'm seeing on Ford's website will be sw switched to the molded in black, but the fender flares will give you more high clearance so you can do some serious off-roading there. A couple other things that you can't get as optional equipment that are included in this package, the position sensitive Bilstein shock absorbers, as well as the 470 gears. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for your exterior, interior, safety, the powertrain, even the different packages that are available. Hopefully you enjoyed it and gave you some a uh, little bit of information for you and that's the goal behind these is you're doing your research to figure out what you want to reserve. Hopefully this helps you out and if you are in the middle of that the reservation process and want to know a little more about it, you can reserve off of Ford's website. You can go to Ford.com or better yet, if you're wanting Law MacArthur to be your uh, delivering dealership, you can go right from our website. So go, of course, to LawMacArthur.com. Under the new tab, you can just pull, drop down there, go down to the new Bronco offers, and there's our Bronco page there with a link to reserving your four-door or two-door Bronco or your Bronco Sport just by clicking that link. And then when you click on over there, it, it uses Law MacArthur as the dealership that that vehicle is going to be delivered to. So at that point, you go ahead and pick your two-door, four-door version. You go and pick whatever model you want. In this case, Outer Banks, hopefully, if you like this one. 
uh, and then you go ahead and reserve it from that at that point and then Law MacArthur will be reserving dealership. So what Law MacArthur is doing, we are doing free shipping. So just like we do on some of our other uh, vehicles, we do about 20% of our business out of state because we do some cool aftermarket ads and uh, some different things there. So if you're wanting to do that, we will uh, deliver your vehicle for you for free. Uh, we usually say we do ask you to finance a vehicle with us. Uh, we're very transparent about that uh, because the shipping isn't going to be free to us, but we don't incur that cost onto you. If you plan on financing the vehicle anyway, uh, the lenders give us enough kickback to hopefully cover some of the cost of that shipping and deliver it right to your door. So great way. You don't even have to uh, step foot into a, a Ford dealer, have it delivered right to your door. We're also throwing in a, a free Bronco jacket as well as part of that. So if you uh, want to take advantage of that too, you can go ahead and, and get a vehicle right from us. Again, you can go to our website, lamacarthur.com. Need a little more information about how to do that. You can also call or send us a text message. The numbers on the screen. I'll also have those down in the description at any time in this video, so you can check that out too. And uh, you can always, we have chat service on our website too. You can always go there and chat with one of our coordinators when we're open. Again, hopefully really enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below. Love getting that feedback from you. I've gotten a lot of feedback on some of these and I do, uh, because of that feedback, I'm able to make some changes and tweaks to the videos going forward. So let me know uh, anything, any questions you might have down there as well as any uh, improvements we can do to the videos. Smash the like button if you like this video and don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Again, we're going through this whole lineup uh, for the different Ford, two-door and four-door first. Then we'll go through the Bronco Sport as well. And again, hopefully it helps you out and gives you some information there. So again, don't forget you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you're wanting updated on any kind of news uh, and stuff's going on at with Ford as well as stuff's going on in house and at our dealership with different specials going on and different giveaways we have, uh, check it out on, the, on those different social media sites. And until the next video, we'll see you later. Kid off road tires with B logs on, dude. It's kind of little latitude, ain't it, grand? It does the mud as well as the sand, it defines me who I am.